coconut oil. I already have my olive oil. Now on the scale, tear that. This spoon's already big enough. 9.6 ounces. Four ounces of that. So I'll take my handy handy container, turn that down to zero. My coronavirus paper towels. Okay. Palm oil. Turn that to zero. Don't need the castor oil right now. Palm oil. Six point four ounces. I know that that's usually one, one and a half, one three zero, and two. Two. This is gonna be a good mix of three. Just got a bigger spoon or a bigger. I need 6.4 ounces. Almost there. Which is probably going to finish up what I have in here. Which is fine. A little bit too much. Take some away. Take a little bit more away. Just a little. There we go. Oil. Now almond oil and castor oil. Okay, so we got that. I'm not going to put any shea butter in it this time. It's asking for almond oil. Do I have any? <clears throat> Just make it plenty of water. You don't have to use distilled, but they recommend that you do. And I don't really need a lot because I'm not making a lot. It's almost too much. Okay, I just... A little drop.
to mix up, separate for the colors. So I'm just going to pour some in there. <clears throat> pour some in here. And I'm just making a small batch. And I haven't added my fragrance yet because I don't want to do that until I know that <clears throat> my batter is not going to, what they call it, accelerate. So here we have champagne, which isn't going to be very, um, I'm not going to color it too much because it's the soap is going to be like a beige color anyway. So let's pour some in there. Let's tap some in there. We'll see how we like the color. And we're trying to do this before the soap starts to really set up. So we have some wiggle room that's for purple. This stuff isn't cheap either. So, and then here is the pink. Okay, and now. I'm going to just do a little stirring of that, not a lot, Let's just get it the first one, because I'm not going to be able to fit my, my blender in there, it's too small. So I'm just going to really mix it up, and then the light. Unlike paint, you can jump from color to color, technically you should go lighter to darker. And this is going to be champagne. I've used this color before. I don't want to use titanium dioxide because it gives me glycerin, what they call it glycerin rivers. It makes it look like it's cracking. And then purple. Let's try to stir that over the soap. Okay. It's kind of mixing up frosting. Now for our fragrance oil, we do have a formula that we need to measure out. To that, 8%. So I can go up to 6%. Okay. I don't really need this anymore. I can take this off because I'm not mixing my lye. Oh god, it smells good. It's strawberry cream. Or it smells like strawberry shortcake. It's really yummy. But I'm going to put a lot in there. Because it will make the soap really sweet. Right. So, we got... Mm. Okay, we got plenty of that. So, this I'm going to add now. I'm just going to 
gonna start in. Now, if I'm not careful, it will make, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what we call swirls. So you can see what I'm doing. And uh, champagne, we'll put some right in the middle, some right over here, some right over there. <coughs> Now the pink, I'm just, I know you probably can't really see it, I'm just pouring it in at different spots. And now the purple, I can do it. it won't mix. The really cool thing about this is the colors do not mix. I mean, unless I mix them. You leave a little bit left for the top. Do a little swirly action like that. And then we take our, whoops, I don't know what this one, this one's clean. Now, I don't know. Technically, our temperature of our soap right now is it's a good pouring temperature, 98 degrees. The long solution does that. Okay, now you're not gonna be able to really see this too much. I'll do my best. So I just take it and now I'll just pour it. If I wanna make a more of a little spout, you can. It almost comes out like a tie-dye. You can really see how that comes out like that. Okay. And I can, isn't that kind of cool? I don't know if you can really see it or not. I didn't really plan on doing this today. So, just scrape it all up, I'll make a little bit of a mess. Okay, so it's kind of like making a cake, except it's soap. And I don't have to bake it, it bakes itself. Okay, all right, so now that's done. So we can take what's left on here and then we can do like a little, maybe like a little here, and then something like this, like that. Stay, see how it stays around the top? I hear helicopters flying over. I've been hearing helicopters more than I've been hearing airplanes. Now this is with a white, the champagne. Just do a little swirly swirls. That, oh, the cloud's coming over, so I'm losing a little bit of sunlight, which is okay. And now uh, a little bit of purple left over. With this, I'm just going to do drops. Drop, drop, oh, maybe not. Okay. All right. I'm not one of these people need to get every little bit out, but okay. Now I can let this set up. I kind of made a little bit of a mess here. Um, we have our spoon so we can do the dollops later once I wash that off. Um, this is what we're looking for. I don't have any more toothpicks or anything. So you know what I can do is do swirly tops like this. Okay. Swirly tops. Change your eights. And let's do it right down the middle like that. You can see that. Oop. You can see that or not. Maybe. I don't want to drop my phone into it. I'm not a good camera video person. So I'm going to let this set up and I'll do the little belts. <clears throat> um, it's real loose and runny right now, so it could take a while. I'm going to have to pause it and come back. But in the meantime, I get to clean up my mess. It really isn't that bad. It's so bad.